Hey everybody, let's look at some displacement time and velocity versus time graphs for uniform and accelerated motion. First, we've got an object at rest. This is my cat. She's not moving. She's at rest. Here's what a graph is going to look like. It's a nice horizontal line. An object at rest makes a horizontal line on a displacement versus time graph. What about an object moving forwards? So an object moving forwards on a displacement versus time graph is going to make a nice diagonal line. The slope of that line is how fast the object's going. What about an object going backwards? Well, if the object's going backwards, then you're going to see a diagonal line again, but now it's going to be going uh, downwards. The slope is a negative. What about an object that's accelerating? Well, the first thing you're going to notice is on that displacement versus time graph, it is a curve, which is going to be different from any other sort of uniform motion sort of situation. The curved line in the D versus T graph means acceleration. So can you remember, straight lines for uniform, curved for accelerated. What about velocity time graphs though? So here's the velocity time graph for each of those uniform motion situations. You can all see they are horizontal lines. And the velocity versus time graph for accelerated motion, this one is going to be a diagonal line. This object was going down, so it's diagonally uh, downwards. It's sloping downwards here. Now, two other things you got to know is you can find the displacement under a velocity time graph. All you got to do is find the area. That's base time site if it makes a rectangle, one half base time site if it makes a triangle. For more info on this topic, check out ldindustries.ca.